name is uh, Chris Kale. I'm from Five Finger Death Punch, a bass player. Uh, yeah, we got the new album coming out uh, within the next few days, actually. July 30th, it's coming out. So we're real excited about that. It's called The Wrong Side of Heaven, The Righteous Side of uh, Hell, Volume 1. will be the first one, so uh, clearly... Once you get that, be patient. The next one will be coming out before the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, so you know, plugging away on that. I'm real excited. Doing a whole bunch of pre-order stuff on fivefingerdeathpunch.com. Uh, all kinds of stuff like lunch boxes, bobbleheads, challenge coins, T-shirts. We, uh, we definitely took a cue from one of our heroes, uh, Gene Simmons, on that one and really amped up the marketing on, the, on that one. But, yeah. <laughs> actually, I think it's a knucklehead, uh, bobblehead is what it is. We haven't actually gone quite to the uh, the level of Kiss yet. Just the mascot first, and then uh, full exclusive line of Chris Kale bobbleheads coming soon. Yeah, we really went into this one with a ton of material starting off. We had a mobile recording studio with us when we were on Trespass America last year, and went into the studio probably eight songs like right off the bat, already ready to go. Uh, creative juices were flowing, so we hammered on, hammered on, and at some point we were, were like 24. 25, 26 songs, and we're like, which ones do we not use for this? So we were like, the hell with it, give it to the label. You guys tell us which ones uh, we uh, we should put, you know, elsewhere. And they were like, all right, we agree with you. We'll go ahead and do a, a double album. So uh, rather than doing a double album, which is originally what we wanted to do, have one called the Wrong Side of Heaven, the other one called the Righteous Side of Hell. Uh, we decided to group it all together and, and make two solid albums with a nice little flow for the listener. Uh, ideally, in the beginning, what we want to do was have a really, really heavy one, kind of the, that album, here you go, we can do it, let's get it done. And uh, then the other one for, you know, like the the more accessible songs, I, I guess. And uh, we just didn't like the way it sounded like that. It was too much pummeling, not enough of a, a hesitation, you know, just straight pummeling. So, yeah, decided to go ahead and do two albums. Um, collectively, it's it's Ivan's uh, Ivan's theme. Ivan really writes about stuff that actually happens to him. Uh, he's not a uh, um, he doesn't mince words. Not some kind of greater calling. If he's if he's saying "burn motherfucker" in the song, he means "burn motherfucker." There's no no hidden meaning to that. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's Ivan writing about the stuff that he uh, he experiences. You know, he's uh, he's one of these these front men that can really touch that uh, that nerve with the listener you know between his melodies and his content and everything he re he's really able to reach out and, and affect people so we let Ivan run with that he's good at that I think co collectively within the band we are we are all uh, five very strong very different personalities so it, not only in recording but uh, in daily life in general we we definitely uh, have learned to work as brothers <laughs> Right now on Mayhem, we're actually playing one of the new songs. It's a song that we did with Rob Halford called Lift Me Up. Uh, we're doing that one right now. We didn't want to come out on Mayhem, not have the album out yet, and start throwing a bunch of new songs that nobody knew. Uh, we'd rather be able to have the festival vibe where people are singing along, knowing the words. Uh, but you will be hearing new stuff on the upcoming tour that we're starting in September. Uh, the wrong, I think it's called the Wrong Side of Heaven tour. Uh, it's us, Escape the Fate, Miss May I, and Gemini Syndrome. It's basically all across North America. And I know uh, there's talk of doing four new songs on that one. So we'll see if we get around to doing four, if we decide to do more. First one, I've been in the band for two years. So this is my first Mayhem. But off the top of my head, I think maybe three, three or four for those guys. Yeah, because I know when I first saw them, they were opening up the main stage. The Lamb of God was on there as well. And then they also did another one before that where they were, you know, two o'clock, hot sun, burning it down out there. And now, you know, third one, uh, as far as I know, third one around and uh, we're doing the uh, co-headlining with Rob Zombie. Hell of a progression going from two o'clock in the afternoon to blowing stuff up with Rob Zombie. <laughs> When it's our own headlining run, uh, we have a little bit longer set, so we're able to uh, put some more songs in there. Uh, on our headlining run, it's clearly they're there to see Five Finger Death Punch, so the vibe is real uh, pro Death Punch. 
Uh, not saying the mayhem's not, but you know, when you're doing your own headlining run, that's the reason they're coming out there. But I do really, really like doing the festival stuff because I mean, it's basically like summer camp for heavy metal. You know, you get to see all your friends out here, uh, get the chance to check out all, all the bands on the other stages. Like religiously, I go check out Machine Head just about every day, Battlecross. I've been catching Motionless and White over there, so it gives you a chance to kind of hang and meet new people, and uh, it's, it's like metal band camp basically. It depends. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sneaky about how I get back there. And then I'll end up like, you know, wherever. I don't want to give away where I'm at. Yeah. But uh, I pretty much always end up in the same spots. And uh, it's funny because, like, they don't expect one of the co-headliners to be out in the crowd watching. So they'll, they'll look and, and then I'll see him pull out the phones. I think that's him. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm always out riding my motorcycle around and uh, saying hi to the fans before the show. So, yeah, you, if you see somebody that looks like me out there, it's kind of a dead giveaway. I got a Honda VTX 1300, though, Harley Davidson. I'm looking to get a Harley. Call me. Let's get it done. Sponsorship. Doing videos all the time. I'm talking about you all the time. I'm giving you press already. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> this, this year has actually been many uh, checks on the bucket list. Number one, uh, writing a song and playing it with Rob Halford. Number two, uh, I'm a huge KISS fan and we did three shows with KISS over in Europe. Uh, the one last bucket list item that I have, I want to open up for Metallica on a big tour and just go out and watch and see how those guys do it, you know. Uh, we're at a point now where I think getting out and seeing those guys, that would help us learn a little bit more and, you know, help us further gets exactly where we want to be and uh, to watch those guys every single day and, and learn from them, that's, that's one of the bucket lists for me. I saw them on... Uh, I think the first time that I got to see him was on Injustice for All, and loved it. Uh, yeah, at that point, uh, it was my when I was first able to drive to concerts and whatnot. So, as soon as I got that car, <laughs> two-hour drive to go check him out in Cincinnati. So, but the the one that people are floored that I like, there's a band called D Ant Word, D I E A N T W O O R D, out of uh, South Africa, and it's like like a rave hip-hop kind of thing. It's the most unique thing I've ever seen in my life. The videos are incredible. I can literally sit on the bus and re-watch these videos for hours and hours on, uh, at a time. But uh, Deant Word, yeah, you, I'm telling you, it's incredible. Check out Babies on Fire and uh, I Think You Freaky. Good stuff. <laughs> the biggest thing for me, I just want to thank all the fans. Uh, you guys have been incredibly supportive of Death Punch. Uh, thank you guys for coming out and representing us well here at Mayhem. We see you out there singing along to every single word, pitting, setting the lawn on fire out there. We appreciate that kind of behavior. Very nice. I don't know that the uh, insurance adjusters appreciate it, but we certainly do. Uh, and again, we got the album coming out uh, July 30th, the first volume, uh, available at fivefingerdeathpunch.com and anywhere that uh, sells music. Thanks to all you guys for allowing us to do this on uh, the scale that we're doing it. It's all because of you and we truly appreciate it. Thank you.